Okay, I found out what our problem was. Uh, if we go back over here and look, it was basically telling us this was causing a problem. And I get to looking at it, and I'm like, well, we cleaned the message to remove the single quotes, because otherwise that would blow it up. But we didn't use the clean message. So, let's switch this over. Copy that. Let's put him here. Go back and test again. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now let's go back and clean this stuff up. Um, create category. Uh, we don't need the echo here. We don't need the echo here. We do want the logging still. I'm going to save that. Come back over here. Go back to our bug tracker. Reload him. Edit. Add category. Testing. Save. So here we're going to say action. Dot response. Dot response. Text. Invalid category. So let's go back and look at our query now. Let's get rid of everything. Let's see what happens if we run it again. Could be a primary key issue. But let's use this opportunity to give us a better message. Let's just do this. So we know form, action, response text so we have all of this so if we make one small change over here let's do this let's come over here put double quotes double quotes on everything that's a string no double quotes around numbers and booleans booleans be true and false but everything that's a string we're gonna put double quotes around it so we don't need around the true we do need on the error we need on the message and this message is a string, so it needs double quotes. We need one here. One here. And we'll do the same thing here. Here, here, here. Save that. Come back over here, and we're going to go back to our, our function, process form. So here we could say, var result equals json.parse. Action.response.response text. And here we can say, instead of our message, we can say result. Get rid of all of this in here. Result. Dot error. Result. Dot message. Save that, put a colon to terminate this guy, save that, reload our app, go back over here, go back to edit, add a category, more stuff, save that, now this time I'm going to do F10.